joining us now is the regional director for the Department of Health and Human Services, Dr. Jaime Torres. We welcome you back to the program. Or quite a day for you, I assume. A big day for America, Mike. Definitely a big day for New Jersey. A couple of questions we have. First of all, our reporters have been out. Uh, in, in the locations in Jersey City, for instance, the offices seem to be almost deserted. Not a lot of people showing up to sign up, and even people who were, uh, you know, greeted on the streets by those with the uh, tablets were not particularly uh, engaged in the process. Does that surprise you? It's, it's not, Mike. This is, first, the second, one of the largest pieces of social legislation that has uh, been implemented in our nation. Of course, and today, just the big day, the kickoff, we have six months to enroll, educate and enroll people, and our commitment is to reach the 21 counties. And I think as time goes on, there will be more people enrolling. Now, the, the, obviously, uh, most people are going to know about this or try to avail themselves of this service through the Internet. There have been reports today of glitches, of delays. I went on just before sure. we came to do this interview, and, and the system was delayed. Some people say it's crashed on them as well. Once again, uh, wh what do you we attribute that to? We had over a million hits before 7 o'clock this morning. This is five times the amount that people visit uh, Medicare.gov. So as you can see, people are very, very excited, and I think we're working on those glitches. The system will be corrected and will be expanded. And again, this is just the first day. We have six months that you'll be able to visit. In addition, we have the 800 number that people can call in, get information, and enroll by phone. So you're, I guess, urging people to be patient at this point? Patient, but it also shows the excitement, how many people are, are eager to learn more. And that's the first step. We have educate people. We have, in New Jersey, nine over 900,000 people who will become eligible for the health insurance marketplace. And almost 800,000 of them will be eligible to either for Medicaid or subsidies that will help pay for that health insurance. What percentage of those do you think will actually sign up? We are, our goal is to reach those 900,000. Nationally, the Congressional uh, CBO estimated $7 million by the end of of next year again but our commitment my commitment representing the administration here is we're going to try to get those 900,000 here in New Jersey as much as possible the fact that governor christie decided uh, not to go it alone but to stay with the federal government's uh, market exchange sure. system as opposed to some of the other states as well. How different, because you're the regional director mm -hmm. here, how different is the Jersey situation from surrounding states? Well, I mean, th that was the decision that made by the governor, of course, and like Every other federal facilitated marketplace, they can become a local marketplace beginning in 2015. So it's that choice. But in the meantime, is, is there a tremendous difference than, say, if you went across the river to New York or to Pennsylvania? For the consumer, it will be the same. For the consumer, it will be the same. I think the main difference is the funding that is available. A state-based marketplace has more funding because that's how this law was designed. But right now, we are committed with whatever we have to do our best job here in New Jersey with the navigators, with the counselors, with the champions of coverage. We have many that were announced yesterday. These are volunteer groups in the Garden State who will help us get the war out. So we are committed to do our work in New Jersey. Only three companies, though, decided to jump into this exchange. That as of sounds, now. As of now. Yeah. Uh, do you expect more? Of course. You know, this is a, this you is have, a new... Do you have any reason to believe more will be doing so shortly? I, I have a, a great confidence that this will be successful. And then, again, this is an unknown factor. And for the many of the insurance companies, unknown is something that is hard to deal with. But those three companies offer different type of coverage. It's not only three coverage, so there's a whole right. array of coverage. Different uh, gold, silver, exactly. platinum, and, and different levels therein. Exactly. And so therefore, the only difference is that depending on the level of, of uh, the metal level, it will change how much your copayment you will be responsible for. One of the big goals, of course, has been to get a lot of uninsured young people uh, health insurance. Absolutely. And you do have uh, catastrophic coverage for them. Absolutely. So catastrophic is for that group between 36 26 and 30, and it offers quality coverage, but more basic than the essential health benefits. It has preventive services, it has emergency room, but again, it's lower cost for that category. But also, Mike, very importantly, New Jersey is one of the states that is doing the Medicaid expansion. That is huge in our state. That means that any individual 
men, women, with children or without children. The only criteria is how much money you make. If you make around $15,000 for one individual, you may be eligible, eligible for, to become uh, receive Medicaid. And we're talking about many working folks in the Garden State who making, are making that amount of money and have no insurance. So this is a game changer for New Jersey. Big story, a lot of developments to come, but Dr. Torres, we have to leave it there. Thank you for coming in, Thank sir. Thank you so much.